Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Yellow version, Nuzlocke. I am your host, Sergeant Kazoo, and let me explain a little bit about what's going on here. So first of all, I apologize for the terrible, terrible overlay. Uh, this is essentially a more of a stream for me than anything else, I and mean, I apologize, it's a little bit selfish. I'm honestly using Twitch primarily to record videos so that I can put them on YouTube without having to worry about, uh, you know, it time lapsing or some sort of another issue. So essentially this is how I'm going to be playing. This is more a recording for me to be nostalgic and just get some memories in general. Um, I want to go through my childhood games, talk about what they mean to me, do them from a new angle in a Nuzlocke, and really hopefully put some of these demons to rest that I have as far as not completing them, and they don't feel complete until I have a Nuzlocke. On the left there it says attempt one. Uh, to be honest, this isn't really even my first attempt, far, far from it. I haven't really completed any of my Nuzlocke's. Um, something always ends up happening to the point where I don't really remember my teams or what's different from one Nuzlocke to the other. So this is a way of just kind of recording the journey from here on out. So this is attempt one of recorded Nuzlocke's. Um, and it just kind of lets me remember, you know, what happened, what went on when I finally am successful. I, I intend to go through all of the Pokemon games, starting with Gen 1. Uh, I want to set one representative from each generation. So we'll do the, the third of each gen, as long as there is a third version. So that's the, the general idea of playing with the sound here. I, I think just mono. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll pretty much go from there. Again, this is mainly a stream for me, but I'm more than happy to have anyone come along if they want to. Uh, just keep in mind, I'm not, I don't even have a chat open right now, so this is just kind of meant to chill, hang out, make some memories, and have a good time. Uh, the primary method I would recommend for viewing this is honestly on YouTube, so that is what I am seeing this more as, is a YouTube video more than anything else. Alright, so we hop into the world of Pokemon here. I was debating between doing Pokemon Yellow at all, compared to just doing like Pokemon Red version or something like that. Uh, mainly because Yellow version is a little bit different, right? You start with Pikachu, which means we don't get any of this original three starters to begin with. In fact, if you wait, you later get them all, which feels a little broken, broken, and I do like having a traditional Pokemon experience. Um, but at the end of the day, I looking into it, Yellow version is what has the best challenge as far as it upgrades the trainers, their movesets, you know, everything they can do. Gen 1 as a whole is extremely broken anyway. But you definitely get a better overall challenge playing yellow than anything else. The other thing to keep in mind is that I can only use Pokemon in the Elite Four one time. So if I use them to beat one game's Elite Four, I can't use them again. So I may have access to those starters, but we probably won't end up using them all. I'm not really sure. I've got to kind of weigh those pros and cons. All right, so we're just Kazoo here. We'll go ahead and name our rival. Let's name him the standard blue. That's fine. Kind of like calling him green often, because that's what he originally was in Japan, but everyone knows him as blue here in the good old US of A. So that's what we're going to go with. And that screen is kind of small. We'll move it up a little bit here. Alright, so there we go, we got blue. I'm actually playing directly off of <laughs> the stream. I have such a stupid setup here. The screen is small, and I also have the um, GBA or 
DS actually pressed up against the camera, as I'm sure you can tell. And I'm basically hunched over trying to play this way. The reason for that is a silly one. I am primarily interested in keeping my Pokemon games legitimate. I don't want to use ROMs or anything like that because I want to be able to transfer the Pokemon through the different generations. Why? I have no idea. I'll probably never end up using them. Again, this is for me, so I'm less concerned about general video quality as I am, first and foremost, the integrity of the game. So, I don't, um... I don't love it, but you gotta kinda pick and choose your battles. Since this is not primarily, first and foremost, a stream, we're gonna go with this terrible quality. Alright, so we play our SNES, and we are on our way, and that lag is not looking good, is it? I'm uh, not sure why. I did a few test runs, and the lag was better, so that's an issue I was really hoping I wouldn't have. Maybe that'll get better. Let's see. Yeah, a little choppy. Alright, so all the boys leave home someday, said so on TV. Professor Oak is looking for us. And of course we've got the video here. Four boys walking on railroad tracks. I better go to allowing us to set off on our Cantonian adventure. Fun fact, that is technically a Stephen King reference uh, based off of the movie Stand By Me. So that's fun. Uh, let's see. So as I wander around, I am going to talk to the different characters, mainly trying to make sure that I don't miss out on any items. I know here in this first section, it is... Less likely that we'd miss anything, but that's just kind of how I want it to generally go. Uh, it's kind of giving us a feel for what it would look like. I really am aiming to talk over most of the general character text, but then it's there should anyone be interested. Um, but yeah, yellow version. I... I am interested in how this is going to go. There are some key things we're going to have to worry about and pay attention to. Primarily, obviously we have Brock right up front, right? This is one of the first games where the original gym leader is going to be a little bit touch and go. We're very much reliant on some early encounters. That being said, at the very least, he doesn't have rock throw or anything like that for us to worry about. So, we can maybe get around it even if we don't get like that man key or in one of the Nidorans off in Route 22. But we're super hoping for that. Alright, so we've pretty much seen this town. I'm going to go ahead and head on out. Hey, wait, don't go out. That was close. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. Alright, so we got a Pikachu here. How different, random, and exciting, right? And we caught it! Phew! A Pokemon can appear any time in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. What a jolly little tune as we head back to the lab. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Hmm? Blue, why are you here already? I said for you to come by later. Ah, uh, whatever. Just wait there. Look, Kazoo, do you see that ball on the table? It's called a Pokeball. It holds a Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on, take it. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Blue. I'll give you one later. Alright, so we go ahead and grab our Pikachu here. 
we're actually going to luck out a little bit in this first battle because you can oftentimes accidentally die uh, in the original uh, red and blue because your starters are more likely to get crit, etc. Pikachu does a decent job in this first battle, though. Alright, so blue snatches the Pokemon like a dick. We get the Pikachu that he caught earlier. We would have had that lovely, lovely, lovely Eevee. Which, I have Pokemon Let's Go Eevee if we get to Gen 9 eventually, so that way it's a little bit different. We can see what that journey would have been like instead. I'll give you all a hint, not much different. Alright, so we gotta name our Pikachu. What are we gonna do? Uh, you are... Pigza... The Pikachu. Sure, why not? Pigza Pigza, am I right? Okay. So we have one Pikachu. Let's check it out, see if it's got any decent stats. Pikachu is going to end up totally worthless by the end of this, by the way. The stats are terrible. Wow, those are really, really particularly bad Pikachu stats. But you live with what you get, right? We're not going to use it too much in the end of the game anyway. This is more about making sure that the start of the game can go a little bit smoother. I'm going to try to leave Pikachu in my party unless it dies, though, even at the end of the game. Which basically means a wasted slot, so that's lovely. Though it can sometimes be decent for paralyzing things, and that's about it. With Thunder Wave. Alright, so we'll go right for the Thunder Shock. Again, it's much lo- Ooh, I'm not loving this, though. You know, watch us wipe out now that I said we're less likely to wipe out. Um, yeah, I think we're going to die here unless we get a Paralysis or a Crit. We did get a Crit, and it's going to mercifully tail whip us at the last end. We probably should have died. Um, Pikachu is less likely to lose in this battle, but ours is just not so good. Alright, so we have the Pikachu now up to level 6 which is good we got some much needed boost to speed no defense from before we're still at a terrible 8 defense not great I picked the wrong Pokemon well maybe he shouldn't have stole the one that was on the table alright so he goes off we get our Pikachu that dislikes Pokeballs because everyone has to be asked to catch them these days. See how it feels about me. Well, it's feeling about like I'm feeling about this stream quality right now. Am I right? All right. But we got our Pikachu, so we will now head on out. As we try to determine... Where we ought to go next? I don't think anything really changes here in town. Maybe with the sister. Yeah, we don't get the town map until later. So we have to head to Viridian City. Get the parcel. You all know the drill for this opening section. Opening music is super, super chill, though. All right. So... Now we're going to train up a little bit. we got to get some levels. As you can see, our level limit is only level 12. Not that high up. But Pikachu obviously isn't our choice for fighting Brock anyways. So we're going to focus on building some levels. We've got to make sure we are strong enough to fight the rival over in Route 22. Which could be a bit of a problem if we're not careful. So we will make sure that we do that. Gonna just play for a couple hours here by the way. I've always got work at around 8.55 so I've got to keep that in mind. But I think for the most part we're doing okay. 
Let's see, here we go. Towards Viridian City. Our health is okay. It's always so difficult when we're playing these games online because there's so much to keep track of, which sometimes can influence my playing ability. Which is just great for somebody who says they've never actually gotten through a hardcore Nuzlocke, right? Uh, that being said, going over the rules, keep in mind this is a hardcore Nuzlocke, so that's why we're playing on set. That's why we are... We are what? We are not using any items in battle, um, and we have the level limits as well. Um, I've also added a few additional rules, like for example, we are just talking about Brock. Um, he uses two Pokemon, so that means we will only use two Pokemon in gym battles, because you use the same amount as your opponent, only for gym and elite four battles. Uh, Pikachu just got injured a good bit there, so I'm going to go ahead and heal up with a potion. So that's something we're going to want to keep an eye on for sure. Um, then there's some other small rules. Um, that's the main ones. I, I added some additional ones to prevent uh, additional cheesing. Um, but we'll kind of talk about those as we go. Like, for example, part of why I want to level up right now is primarily because you can only gr level grind in the, the first time you go through an area. So that would be this time right now. We can still battle Pokemon I encounter naturally, but I'm not going to just like search around for them once we leave. So I'd like to get Pikachu up to probably about level 9 uh, in order to feel comfortable in this next area. But we'll see if that's particularly doable. As we're killing these Pidgeys, because I think the rival, if I remember right, Eevee's at like level 8 in that fight, and then of course he gets to have a spear on top of that. Which is technically a stronger Pokemon, but to be honest, in uh, red and blue it's a Pidgey and it keeps using Sand Attack, which is the worst. Those accuracy drops can be absolutely brutal in a Pokemon game. So I'm glad there's at least no sand attack in that fight. But yeah, a lot of our early hopes here center around the luck of getting a Nidoran, male or female, or a Mankey, which I had looked up on Serebii before this stream started. Um, only a 20% chance we don't get one of those Pokemon. So we should be in a pretty good spot. If Disaster were to strike, um, again, at least Brock does not have Rock Throw in this game. So we could get lucky at that point. We would be hoping on backup plan getting a Caterpie or Metapod so we can get Butterfree and train that up in time to fight off Rock with Confusion. Um, and if we didn't get that, that would mean I probably have a Pidgey at least and... Either Spear or Rat Tata. If it's Rat Tata, <laughs> we can probably fight through with Tail Whips and Quick Attacks. Um, just kind of watching out for Bide and Tackle. Definitely would need some luck to help us through that fight. It would not be great. If it's a Spearo, which only has Peck and Growl, I don't know. I, I think that might be game over. So there's the tiniest chance we can get really, really, really stuck. But I, I think we'll be fine for the most part. At least Pikachu's going to zap in these Pidgeys away, right? I'm probably just going to go through pretty much all of these Thundershocks, to be honest. And then I'll have to leave. Yeah, we got 17 left. I know it's not the most exciting gameplay in the world, but I do think it's important for our survival chances. A lot of the uh, streamers that I like to watch, um, Pokemon Challenges in particular, has mentioned, oh, just like hack in a bunch of rare candies, right? Because um, it makes your stream better. Which it probably does to some extent. Remember, this is not first and foremost a stream in my eyes. This is more of a recording of experience. So I'm not as, as worried about that. Um, hence I'm not playing on a ROM in the first place. Thunder Wave is nice. Um, but even outside of that, you know, I, uh, 
I do wonder if you lose some difficulties in leveling up and planning uh, just by, uh, you know, oh, I got a little bit of nonsense on the screen. There we go. Okay, um, just because, you, you know, your Pokemon can die while you're trying to level up, you lose out on the planning of when to level them up and where, and you just kind of skip out on a lot of the adventure that way. So, tedious as it may be, I do think it is important to continue on grinding and not just hacking rare candies, whether you're playing on a ROM or not. But, that being said, you do you. Alright, so, in general, I think it's going okay, this stream. At the very least, like I said, we're not going to have to worry about the Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke issues of getting disconnected this way. So that's a, a big plus. I'm not going to lose out on hours of gameplay or anything like that. That was really frustrating and ended up costing us entire runs, um, just because we were no longer recording without me realizing it. And then it started going white screen every five seconds, so. Yet another reason to record this way. So level five Pidgeys are a good sign as long as we can take them out, which we can. Allowing us to maximize that experience gain, which is super important. Fire off this level four Pidgey. I do want to make sure, I didn't think, yeah, there's nothing over here. Just to double check on those ledges. I think I've checked through there before and uh, never found any hidden items or anything, so that's good. Gen 1 is so basic, though, compared to a lot of the other gens, right? That's part of why I was hesitant to do these gens anyways. Doesn't feel complete unless you get the full childhood experience, though. Um, and you just kind of want to do the full series. But there's no natures in this one. That's a big difference. Other Gen 1 differences. Um, all moves are either special or physical based on their typing, not based on the move itself. So every electric move is special. Every normal move is physical. Which can make things a little bit weird sometimes and also damage some Pokemon that really rely on physical attack that are more special type based, such as Kingler, Rapidash, um, Extra Broken Things, Sleep. You have a turn of waking up and when you get put to sleep. So what that means is your opponent knows exactly when to reinstate sleep. And if you are f slower than them, then you can get stuck in a permanent sleep lock cycle, which really sucks. Hey, there's level 9. That's excellent. I think I'll keep going. We've got how many more? Six more Thundershock. I'm going to use every last one of them. If we get a rat out of here, I'm going to test on it to see if we can take it out with only one Thundershock. That's the only thing that possibly scares me, because we could get stuck without an attack damaging move. Um, but yeah, Sleep is super broken in this game. Bind and Wrap are broken and that it just kind of continues on permanently unless you switch out. Um, works different in newer games. It stops you from switching out, which is a lot cooler. Um, but in this one, you just get told that the bind is continuing over and over again, and then it ends. And it, much like sleep, it ends, you get freed, and then they can just do it again. So if you're slower... Too bad for you. Uh, Leech Seed is broken in that if you pair it with Toxic, it uh, drains enemies' health at a much faster rate than it should. What else? For some reason, Poison types and Bug types have a weird relationship where they're both super effective to each other. Not true in any other generation, so we got to keep that in mind. Watch out for Bug type moves, of which there are almost none. And also, Psychic types have almost no weaknesses, um, and no Pokemon that are good against them, since most Bug-types that have Bug-type moves are also part Poison-type. 
uh, even ghost type um, is actually broken in this game where it was supposed to be super effective but due to a glitch it does uh, I think no damage I can't remember that at all um, there's definitely a problem with ghost type moves though which is also an issue all right I'm going to save this last thunder shock um, we've only got one left and I, I don't know if we could take out a rat tata if it were to appear and I don't want to lose this run to something that stupid. Let me zoom in the screen a little bit. It is a little bit difficult trying to balance between the two different screens, but we make do. I'm hoping this is okay. I don't know why we're getting that slight lag. Um, I mean, I guess it's just because we're recording a screen I suppose it is all happening second nature but I was hoping the frame rate would at least stay the same all right so we're good here on that it is currently 7 a.m. actually 8 a.m. so I'll stop here in about a half an hour We need to deliver that parcel. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't think there are any particular items that we can get here in Viridian City. Uh, yeah, we don't need to hear about the Caterpillar Pokemon. Let's grab that parcel here. I can always check that out uh, a little bit later the rest of the city if we need to. We cannot get more potions, which is really annoying. Or Pokeballs, for that matter. I do love that. Just, hey, do you want this parcel? Go run an errand, and no, I will not sell you anything else in the meantime. Well, hang on, let's explore the city a little bit more. Uh... So I do know like our progress gets stopped up ahead, but we might be able to find something decent. I am not finding too much. Ooh, okay, we did not want to read this notebook. This goes on for a while. No, we will not keep reading that notebook. Uh, she's got nothing. Blackboard, I think, is just status conditions. It is indeed. We don't care about that. Yep. Horrible coffee, man. That's lovely. I always wondered why his private property is like the main road out of town. That seems a little bit broken as well, right? Like everyone is trapped here because an old man wants coffee. It's hard because like I don't want to play fully off the screen because of the lag issues. But I've also got to make sure that I'm holding the DS up high enough that the camera stays level and zoomed in. Which is a little bit difficult. Alright, that's enough for this town. We'll go ahead and head back, deliver that parcel, and then we can finally, finally get this adventure started. I'm hopeful we can get through this in one one go. Obviously, I'm hopeful for that every time. Uh, but it, these games are a bit easier, so I think, hopefully, knowing the Gen 1 breaks and everything else and how it works, I'm, I've got my fingers crossed we can just get through Gen 1 right away. I'm very interested in getting back to Gen, Gen 2. I think that'll be interesting. What? You have a parcel for me? Ah, the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thanks, Kazoo. By the way, I must ask you to do something for me. Gramps! It should be more like Gramps. Gramps, my Pokemon has grown stronger. Check it out. Ah, Blue. Good timing. I needed to ask both of you to do something for me. On the desk there is my invention, Pokedex. 
It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Kazoo and Blue, take these with you. Alright, so we got the Pokédex. We can make a complete guide on all Pokémon in the world. Was this old man's dream, but, you know, he needs to step aside for the young ones to, to take over. It's the time of youth now, old man. Kazoo, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Kazoo. Ha ha ha! Alright, he's being a dick like usual. But that means that we can go get our town map. Hooray, huzzah. So we grab this town map here. Like so. And I think Pikachu's full health, right? Yeah. So I don't have to worry about healing over at Mom's house, which is great. So we are off on our adventure. Because in this story, we don't care about our moms. There's always like some sort of a farewell in the future games. Not this one. Alright, so we can finally go get some Pokeballs. Obviously, got to stock up on those. This time I'm just going right through this area because you can only level grind it the first time as we mentioned. We're gonna want some potions as well um, because whatever I catch I would ideally like to level it up some. Uh, let's see, so Pokeballs. Normally I buy them in chunks of 10 for Premier Ball purposes. Uh, this time that's not as important. Let's get five to start. That would allow us to finish out our team. And then potions. Let's see, we used one. So, oh, hang on. How many did we use? Yeah, we only did use one. So I'm going to grab a few more. Maybe like four more potions for right now. We'll, we'll make it five more potions. Oh, our money took a hit. Alright, so yeah, that's enough potion buying for right now. Don't need antidotes as much, because Weedle are not in Pokemon Yellow, which is good. Um, besides as enemy Pokemon. So we should be alright. I'm gonna try to get by without them. Uh, let's see. Town map, Pokeball, you gotta love this early gen inventory. I'll go ahead and move that up there. Zoom this up just a bit so we can see a little easier. Try to get rid of some of that glare on the screen. Alright. You know, I say I'm making this for me. I'll probably go back and watch this and be like, what the shit did I just make? Um, oh, we also get a free potion up here. That's right. Gotta know all them secrets. Okay, so we got that. And we are ready. How you feeling, Pikachu? Alright, his attitude problem's already completely gone. That's fantastic. That's because I'm such a Pokemon master. You know, it was kind of a cool idea how they wanted Pikachu to start to like you, but it really happens much too fast, I think. Okay, so here, again, hoping for Nidoran male, Nidoran female, that'd be best. They are OP because that means we would get uh, Nido King or Nido Queen uh, before the second gym badge. If And they get Double Kick, which is key for Brock. Man Key is a great consolation prize. Uh, and then anything else, um, FML. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Keep our fingers crossed. We shall have Nidoran Female. Perfect. I will take it. That is a fantastic encounter. Now we just have to make sure that we actually catch it. I'm going to start, I think, by just throwing a Pokeball because this is such an important encounter. We'll see if we can just grab it. It's popping out. Not great. I will try one more time. And then we will switch to trying to weaken it a little bit, if I need to. Alright, good. 
Always nice to get it for free, that way I don't have to use a potion or paralyze it or anything like that for our upcoming battle. And also, um, we can make sure we don't knock it out. Alright, so Nidoran female's name. Uh, let's see. This is a pretty broken Pokemon because it evolves so quick. Um, let's see, what shall her name be? You know what? I'm just gonna go with an old standby. This is blue, cause she is blue. Psyched everyone out there, didn't I? I'm like, oh, what should this destroyer of worlds be? Just blue. Ugly, ugly stats. Again, we're not getting good stat luck, but that's fine. I will put up with it, cause we at least got the good encounter. It's one thing that a lot of people worry about a little too much, honestly is essentially just the stats of the Pokemon that you're getting. Um, obviously you prefer nice stats, but at the end of the day, the species and encounter is more important, even than the natures and everything else in, in later generations. All right, run into an Adoran male. Now, I've gotta be a little bit careful primarily in that we don't run out of Thundershock PP as we're training up. So I will be mindful of that. I would like to get Nidorian female at least to level 5, maybe maybe higher. Now we definitely do not need the uh, need the antidote anymore uh, because blue is part poison type. So that means that I don't have to worry about getting poison because poison type Pokemon can't be poisoned. And so I'll just always put blue out in front of the Weedles. So that's good to note. Alright, let Pikachu. Uh, I figure we'll fight uh, basically until Pikachu gets down uh, to where it needs a potion. We'll use one potion here, and then we'll move up and we will fight Blue. In what can be a tense rival battle, I'm hoping that we're leveling up enough that it is not a huge issue. As you can see, we're finding all the encounters that are good against Brock here, which is great. Again, we could have gotten stuck with a Rattata or a Spiro. Really glad that didn't happen. If you miss, there is a small chance to get an Adoran uh, in Route 2 up ahead, too. But that's only like a 20% chance that they will appear. Alright, Blue's up to 5. That's fantastic. Mankey, though, is only in this particular route until after the second gym, gym badge, then I think we can get one. Or actually, no, you know what, I think it appears before Mount Moon in this game, too. They changed up Mankey's encounter rate decently. So we can still get the beloved fighting monkey eventually. Blue's a strong enough Pokemon, though, that it may end up being... I think it's likely going to be part of our final team, as long as we can keep it uh, keep it healthy, keep it going. That would be good. wonder if Pixa can get to level 10. That'd be great. Because I don't not give a shit about this level limit as far as Pikachu is concerned. Uh, let's see in that once it over levels. I can just bench it. If we get to level 10, I will also quit. So it's when we get just a little bit lower in health. Or when we get to level 10, whichever comes first. I would like that level boost, but I only want to use one potion. And I don't want to get so weakened that I'm worried we're going to get knocked out on accident with Pikachu, because that would really suck. We're still probably fine, health-wise. 
Blue's at six, very good. Two levels on blue, that definitely helps. How far does this Pikachu have to go? Uh, let's see. Before it gets to level 10. Just 54, so we can kind of count that down. I think we can make that all right. Mornadoran females. I'm not going to use blue at all to fight because we're already full health. So I don't really want to mess that up. Okay, we still got plenty of Thundershocks as well, so that's good. Don't have to worry about running out of PP there. I might actually just uh, think I'm going to let Pikachu do this on its own. Speed up the process and then I don't have to worry as much about, um, about what? About getting knocked out. Sure would help if we found some stronger Pokemon than just level 2 though, I'll say that much. Alright, at least we're getting 16 XP a time instead of only 8, that helps us. Nidoran male. I think I would have preferred the male more than the female in this case. I like Nidoking a little bit more, but I am not going to complain. I will take the Nidoqueen and be happy with it. Down goes that. Alright, we're at level 10. Good. I think we're set to fight the rival here, so I'll go ahead and use a potion on Pizza. Pizza and Blue. Attorneys at law. And yeah, nothing really up here, I don't think. Hang on a minute. Get out of the way, Pikachu. Just tech and testing here for other items. No, there's nothing there. Alright. Hey, Kazoo, you're going to Pokemon League? Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Let's find out, Blue. Let's find out. Alright, see so yeah, out comes Spiro, which we will just zap to the extreme right here. No worries at all. And, oh shit, it's still alive. Not my favorite, but we're fine. We're fine. always get a little extra worried in these early battles just because it's so easy to lose to pretty much anything. I'm gonna use the Thunder Wave here, make sure we're always going first. Also get those nice paralysis hits now and again. And let's see, Thunder Shock it down. Get hit by sand attacks. It's okay, I was thinking about switching to blue anyways. Get that XP. And now I'm thinking about switching back to Pizza because if blue died, I'd be very, very sad. Alright, alright, we're good, we're good. Eevee's pretty strong, it turns out. Oh my god, my, my recording. I am playing over camera, so it's like I am trying to <laughs> see it, but then I get into it and it's like I forget to, to lower it. Alright, so we're good here. Alright, so blue's up to level 7, that is great. Aw, you just lucked out. Okay. Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. We just beat our rival. What do you think about that, Pizza? Heck yeah. Smiling, happy Pikachu. Alright, so we're going to put blue out front. I'm not going to worry about level training here any longer. Um, we have to fight this one thing off though. We should be fine. Maybe I'll, ew, I hate having Growl first. 
Okay, that's just a stupid move order. Um, let's go ahead and just tackle this thing out. up towards the Pokemon League. So another rule that I have in this Nuzlocke is that there is no backtracking until you reach a town or a city or until your progress gets blocked. So because we are just noobs without the boulder badge, I cannot go forward. So now I can return back to Viridian City. But had the path not been blocked, we would have had to keep pressing onwards. So that's something to keep in mind when you decide where you want to go. Impacts the early game more than anything else. Alright, so we're back. We'll go ahead and heal up. I've got to decide whether or not I want to get more Pokeballs. Since we used two there trying to catch blue. We've only got two more encounters, though. We've got the forest encounter and the uh, Route 2 encounter. However, I do know that sometimes the Pokemon can be a pain to catch in the forest if you get, like, a Metapod. And I would like Butterfree. You know what? We're going to get another Pokeball anyways. I'm not going to get more potions. I think we're fine there. I don't have to buy the antidote. So I'll just buy one more Pokeball to make up for the one that we missed with. And I also think I will probably just start paralyzing the encounters to help increase our catch rate, and that'll help us. So I don't gotta worry about knocking them out that way. Uh, let's see, this old man's gonna catch a Weedle. Sorry I wasted your time, let me waste your time more! But I'm not too worried if my Pokemon are paralyzed outside of Nidoran and Pikachu. Oh, losing your touch. Losing your touch because you didn't weaken that Pokemon. Oh, and I guess you got a rat tattle in the rat tattle. A rat tata in this one instead of a weedle. It's the small little tiny changes. That may be a reference to Ash failing to catch a rat tata in the anime. Um, because he tried to catch it and then, it, uh, it broke free? Maybe. I don't, uh, I might be reading too much into that. I know a lot of this, like, the encounters you can't get are very much tied to what Ash couldn't get in the anime. So, like, there's no Weedle in this game because Ash failed to catch a Weedle. Uh, where he, like, threw the Pokeball and then, like, got distracted or something and it ran away. Or no, he weakened it, and then it went away before he could throw the Pokeball. I think because Misty distracted him. Um, so no Weedles in this game. Uh, there's also no, like, Team Rocket standard Pokemon, like, uh, Coughing Meowth and Ekans, because that's Jesse and James's Pokemon. Those are the two main ones I can think of that they got rid of. Not sure what else you can't catch in Pokemon Yellow, right off the top of my head. Those are the big ones, though. Okay, so we're going to put Pizza in the lead so we can paralyze whatever we find here in Route 2. There is a small chance we get another Nidoran female. That would be a little sad. But for the most part, yeah, okay, there's a Rattata. That's eh, standard, but fine. Would have been kind of cool if we had gotten Nidoran male. That was a chance. Um, would have liked that, but I'm not going to complain. This is fine. We've got our female... Paralyze this rat hatta. Would be kind of wild having a doe king and a doe queen on a team before the second uh, gym badge, though. All right, so it's paralyzed. We'll throw our pokeball, and we got it. Okay. Rat hatta. We'll chew on anything with fangs. If you see one, is more than it's certain that more than forty more live in the area. Alright. 
What shall we name our new rat tata friend? Uh, I'll call you. Um, Mr. Whiskers. Cute name for a cute little rat. Mr. Whiskers. Perfect. Alright, so we've got him. How are his stats for a rat tata? Decent. It's only at level 3. That, that looks fairly fine. They actually end up using Rattata a decent amount because we need access to cut. It's another fun rule that I have added. Is that uh, you have to have each HM on your party's team the entire time. Because there's no backtracking. So anytime we get an HM it has to be present in the active party. No exceptions. All right, Viridian Forest, Natural Maze. Got a room we're about to get new kinds of Pokemon. Just tell me how useful Rattata are. Oh, listen to that Viridian Forest music, though. That puts me right back in my feels. All right, so... I'm gonna put Pikachu out again, because we wanted to go with the Paralyze option. One thing that's actually a little bit dangerous in this forest in yellow version, there is a tiny, tiny, tiny chance, I think it's like 1% or 5%, that we run across a Pidgeotto. Now it will be under leveled compared to what a Pidgeotto should be, it's not at 18 or anything, but it's still a scary encounter because it's strong and it can knock Pikachu out, so we gotta be careful of that, especially if I gotta switch in. Went ahead and grabbed that extra Pokeball. We can think about getting our encounter. Uh, let's see. I, I want my encounter before I fight this uh, this lass off. Let's just go ahead and grab what we find. Hopefully, just a Caterpie. That's all I want. There's only Caterpie and Pidgey options. Perfect. There's your. Okay. Ooh, it's a nice high level too. That helps because we just want to get it to Butterfree as quickly as possible. So I'll go ahead and do a Thunder Wave. And miss pizza that is unacceptable. Try harder. There we go. Alright, we got the paralysis. We'll start throwing pokeballs. It's breaking free. That's not good. I'm gonna try a little bit more. Obviously, we can't get too low. So that way, yeah, I'll try one more. And then we'll try to weaken it if I have to. Damn. Okay, I don't want to miss this encounter, so I am going to uh, weaken it a bit. Fortunately, this was our only remaining encounter we can get right now before we get the chance to buy more Pokeballs. I guess I'll switch over to blue. That's the least likely to knock it out, I feel like. Okay, so we'll just go with the tackle attack. This might take a minute. Just get it to yellow, and then I'll consider it good. Okay. Now at best get in the dang ball. Alright. This worm's causing me some, some issues. Releases a stink bomb, huh? Is a stinker. I'm gonna call you Tinko. Alright. So we got Tinko. The stinking worm that wouldn't cooperate that well. He sure is a Caterpie, but we're not that worried about Caterpie right this moment because our first and foremost priority is to get Blue Double Kick. That has to happen. So Blue will be leading the party. Alright, so we're going to fight this 
lady who asks if I have a Pikachu when it's clearly right behind me. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, so we're fighting this Nidoran female. I'm gonna switch out for experience. And I don't think Nidoran female could probably take that Nidoran, but uh, it would hurt quite a bit to do it and use up a lot of our tackle PP. So that will just zap through. I am going to potion after this because if we run into Pidgeotto, that would be trouble. Blue's up to level 8, which is fantastic. We've got Scratch, also good. Alright, Nidoran male. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll shift back and forth. I think we can handle that. Shift back to Pizza. Another glitch in this generation. If you are lowering your opponent's stats and then you get a critical hit, it ignores the stat changes. Uh, which it should do for a positive boost like Defense Curl. But if you're lowering them, then you can actually do less damage on a critical hit. So that's a fun fact too. Also, the move uh, Focus Energy, completely broken, uh, actually stops you from getting a critical hit rather than uh, makes you more likely to get critical hits. That is due to a programming error. And these generations are just so lovely. Gen 1. Alright, so we'll heal up Pikachu. I'll lower that screen as I instinctively try to raise it so I can see what I am doing. Um, okay. Never found a Pikachu. Nope, only get the one and no Raichu. I guess that's another uh, version exclusive is Raichu in this. Can't get any Raichus. Which is a shame because it might make Pikachu a little bit more useful. Alright, so, good there. You're not a trainer, right? Yeah. Okay, we know pretty much nothing up here. I'm half exploring, half just training. We're just going to take it sleazy here. I am hopeful we can get out of the forest here, and then I'll probably call it for today. But we'll see. The time is getting short. Uh, we will shift over to... Nah, we don't need to switch. I'm just going to go ahead and scratch through. We'll save Pikachu for the Pidgeys and the Pidgeotos. Blue is strong enough to fight stuff on its own now. And we want to get that experience up as quickly as possible, as I mentioned. I think double kicks right at level 12, if I remember correctly. Alright. Also not a trainer. I do note the worries of running out of Pokeballs though. Almost happened to us, but not yet. Not yet. So I remember in Gen 1, uh, See, these games came out when I was in, like, about first grade. And I remember a lot of the pure joy I would get from exploring these new areas. Like, entering, like, Viridian Forest for the first time. It is extremely nostalgic for me. Um, it was just a lot of fun going through. I remember I'd get, like, all excited when I found, like, a Kakuna or something because it just looked so weird. Looks like it's got like these scythes in red and blue, even though it obviously doesn't. Um, thought it was a much more exciting Pokemon than it actually was, but like I'd find it and I'd be like, oh, you gotta check this out. And you know, my friend was just like, uh, whatever, it's just a Kakuna, you know, because they'd been playing the game for a while. But that's something that I kind of miss in Pokemon these days, just that sense of like mystery and adventure. And some of that just comes with being a kid, I think. You don't really get that back. Um, but also there's just like some magic in these like old sprite based generations and games. You know, Gen 2 kind of gave me that too. Um, and then it kind of fell off a little bit more. 
some of it also I think with all the leaks when that happened with the internet with the internet and stuff you know you don't like encounter like surprise new Pokemon that much anymore you're never like oh what's this gonna evolve into or what did I find here etc can't really have those surprises as much in a Nuzlocke anyways though there's too many variables you got to keep in mind Blue's getting a bit banged up here. I gotta keep that in mind. Might want to use another potion. But we get rid of another Caterpie, which is good. Up to level 9. Maybe 10 will get me double kick. They're doing about 2 damage a round. It should be okay to finish up here. It's one thing you miss about having Charmander. Everything's so shit in the start of the game, but it can just burn through the forest, and that part's nice. Take a crit hit, leaving me with exactly 20 HP missing. Perfect for a potion. Up to level 10. Still no double kick yet. So we will go through and use a potion on blue. Run into a wild encounter. Pidgey, so I'll switch into Pikachu. They're both the same level now. That's the thing about Pikachu, though. We're going to see it get massively underleveled over time. Just some we're going to have to put up with. Oh, I wish that was strong enough to kill. Uh, do I risk going for another Thundershock here when I've been sand attacked? I think not. I'm going to switch to blue. Attack will get rid of it, and it's over. Okay, keep pushing. Go for the scratch attack. And the tackle attack. I am being foolish here. I do need to keep... Mm. That's what's... You know, I'm just going to put Pikachu in the lead. If you run into Pidgeotto, it's such a problem. Okay, we're fine now. So I'll put Blue back out in the lead. like Pidgeotto is this like unexpected terror that just lurks in the shadows you never know when it's gonna strike all right Metapod what an exciting Pokemon I will switch around for this one I think we will well everyone's experience is gonna get like so small but I don't want to burn through all my physical attacks that's gonna take like a year and a half so well, I'll just use Thundershock here. It's fine. Maybe Pikachu can get Quick Attack that way too. Yes. All right, Quick Attack. That is nice. All right, so we'll grab Quick Attack uh, between Growl and Tail Whip. I think Tail Whip is the least helpful here. Yeah, because I'd rather be able to lower attack, so we'll get rid of Tail Whip. Alright, out comes Caterpie. I go for a Thundershock. Take a little more damage, that's fine, that's intended. Switch into blue. Knew I was going to use another potion on Pikachu, so I wanted the damage to go there. Um, Alright, another tackle. The blue's starting to take hits pretty well. 
a lot better than Pikachu is. Another Metapod. Uh, I'll switch. Get the Paralysis. A Paralyzed Cocoon. I wonder how effective that actually is. All right. Lose at 11. Still no double kick. So I guess it is like right at the last limit. Uh, we got to get right up to level 12. All right. We will get there though. I'm not worried. Uh, let's go ahead and potion Pikachu. Make sure there's no items there. There are not. Head on up this way. Thought I remembered a trainer being here. I guess that's in the remakes, Leaf Green and Fire Red. Instead of this one. Fine, Metapod. Let's see, we will go with a scratch attack. I'm going to go ahead and just try to get rid of this one. Yeah, that did a good amount of damage at least. Two scratches, and that's it. I was possibly going to say two scratches and a tackle, but we're good. Oh, there is an item there. Saw that Pajoka ball. Guess I'll fight through the Pidgey as well. I'm gonna just try to save Pikachu for Pidgeotto and that's it, just in case. Because you never know. Helps if Blue doesn't miss its tackles though. Okay, good there. Another bug catcher. And I think there's one more here to end it. And yeah, definitely a good call, no antidotes, anyways. Um, not really seeing a ton of Weedle in general. I think the last bug catcher might have a Weedle. Okay, scratch through these worms. Gotta love how they don't even bother to evolve their bug Pokemon. It's like the entire purpose of having them is that they get strong quickly. And you don't do it. Alright, we'll let Pixa finish this out. Ooh, this is a Metapod that has been evolved. It's got Tackle and String Shot. Interesting. Down it goes. Alright, Blue's at level 12. There's Double Kick. We are set for Brock. Now I actively don't want to use Blue. Because if it overleveled, we'd be screwed. Metapod is not cool because its attack is its defense. That's its problem. Okay, so we will switch to Pixa as the lead and continue heading up and down let's 
Let's go with a Thundershock attack here. Very creative and inspired, I know. And let's see, there is a, an item here for us to get. Grab another potion, always helpful. Suppose we should start training up our Caterpie so we can try to get a Butterfree. I think you've got Weedle. Nope, still Caterpie, so not a single Weedle in the entire forest. Alright, we'll get Tinko out of there. Switch into... Actually, I'm going to use blue for this, just to be safe. I'll scratch. So I'm going to try to use Pikachu uh, to level up some of the guys after we get out of the forest. So I don't want Pikachu's health to go down. Blue's health is getting a little concerning, though. Alright, there we go. Alright, and he's looking for the stuff he dropped, which is right about here. Because I'm such a cool guy, I'm not giving that back. I'm just going to take it. Could belong to anyone. What if he dropped something else? Who knows? And with that, we are out of the forest. I think it is in our best interest to try to level up on Route 2 a little bit. I can try to get Tinko and Mr. Whiskas a little stronger. But that exciting adventure will be for another time, because it is time for me to go to work. But I have had a good time up to this point. If anyone was watching this mess of a stream, I hope you did too. Uh, but that being said, I will see everybody in the next one. Bye for now.